All right, good morning, Frontline Motor Pool. I wanted to shoot a short video on basically making these bushings for a half ton Dodge. This is um, the hydraulic lever action shock absorber. And this is one of the linkages. You can see how they go. The bushing fits in here. Um, obviously these bushings are, are, are not something that was probably replaced very often. Um, they just didn't wear out very often. But now that they're 80 years old, you can see this one, you can see it's completely dry rotted. Um, most of the ones, once I popped the pin out, just kind of disintegrated. So I tried to find some of these. I didn't look real hard, but I did look at some of the major sites. I could not find a replacement piece. So I decided I was gonna just make my own. Um, so I'm gonna give you a quick overview of how I did that so you guys can do the same thing. Uh, first thing, let me grab. So I basically went out to some of the different manufacturer sites and I, this was the closest grommet that I could find that would fit there. Now the inside diameter, if you look inside here in the trench is one inch, it fits in there fine. The flare is good, it's just not wide enough. And to be, you know, to work perfectly, um, this inside trench needs to be one inch wide. Um, even the hole is correct. It's just the grommet itself isn't wide enough and I couldn't find uh, a grommet that's wide enough. So you can see this is kind of this is what I need and this is what I got. So um, basically what I did was I took an exacto knife and it takes three of these grommets to make one of these. Okay, these grommets are about 25 cents a piece. I believe they, well, they may be a little more than that. I think they're about a dollar a piece. But I took an X-Acto knife um, and I basically carved one side off. I carved one side off another one. I carved both sides off the center one and then I split it in half. And that gave me enough width um, to put these together. So um, what I did was using rubber cement, um, I basically glued the center piece and one of the grommets together and I glued it onto the shaft. So you can't see it in here, but um, there's, a there's basically a metal shaft that this bolt, um, this uh, shelf bolt um, fits through, and that keeps the bolt from rubbing against the rubber continuously. Um, and so uh, there it is. The metal I used to do that, I just went to one of the local hardware stores, and I picked up some steel tubing. The steel tubing um, cost me, I guess, about 10 bucks. Um, the diameter for the steel tubing is right at a half inch. And the holes for the grommet are a half inch. So this makes a nice little snug fit. I did put a little bit of rubber cement on to, for, well, you probably didn't even need to do that. But, uh, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut these to length to be basically an inch and a quarter. So an inch and a quarter is the width where you, right here between the wings of the bracket. And that's where you want this metal pin to fit up against, right up in there. As you can see. Okay. So basically, uh, that's the gist of how I put them together. Um, here's one where I've cut the one side off. You'll need two of these, and you'll need a centerpiece, which you can kind of see here. 
which is when you cut off the edges. I need, I need a razor knife to do that. Once you trim off the flanges on either side, you slice that in half and that'll give you your spacer in between. So now I'm really just going to put some silicone on here. I'm going to push these in. I'm going to take the other side, add some rubber cement to it, and I'm just going to press these in.